Well, well, <laughs> phones down, glasses up, pour Woo. your beverages, get your chips, or hello. Oh, Hawk Hawk and cheese. Cheese. Oh, I'm episode not going to touch it. I'll have orange you, fingers. Yeah, hold, hold commercial until the break. commercial break. Yeah. Uh, episode 10 of Steel and Vance, my friend. Where's the time going, right? Where's the time going to go on this show? We've got a lot to get to. As we mentioned, Hawkins Cheesies, as suggested by our good friend Pete Quevlon, who's a good fan of the program. Yeah. I love your suggestion, Pete. Uh, this is Remembrance Day coming up as we speak, and so we're talking poppies, and just for fun, it was like, let's play a game of where is Jody's poppy, and I was thinking, is she wearing one? And earlier, you had one there and one there, and I thought, I oh, she's doubling down to make sure she's wearing the poppy. I didn't notice that I had already put a poppy on, and then I put another one on, because I'm that much of a poppy freak, which well, brings us to our... Which is great, because a lot of people are not wearing poppies this year, just in my experience of walking around. So I did a little Twitter poll online asking people, if you're not wearing a poppy this year, why not? And, you know, I'm just curious to know. And here are the results. Generally speaking, most people say, hey, I bought the poppies. I made the donation. They just keep falling off. They keep falling off. And it's interesting because social media across the board is discussing poppy, not mm -hmm. poppy, virtual poppy. We talked about them last week. Right. Uh, you know, I have one that was made by a cream AT mm -hmm. artist. That are, yeah, everyone in our family has one. But I still go to mypoppy.ca, make, make a, a donation. donation. Right? So... You had a story of you walking across the street to get oh, in the car geez. with you. Oh, know, So I had my poppy on. My girlfriend's coming to pick me up. I walked across the street wearing my poppy, got in the car, sat there, and it was gone. Not down the seats. Is it outside? But no, you got whatever. some advice on it, oh, and you well, took the advice. I put on earrings sort of thing and just uh, down on the bottom just to make sure it's going to stay there for this year. Uh, you know what? They are selling biodegradable poppies this year through the Legion. I love that. As you mentioned, online. And then one of our viewers named Ken, and Cerne, I think that's how you say it, he said he bought a poppy projector. And I thought, no, oh, show me that. And so he sent a video. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I like that a lot. I love that. And so that's his way of showing respect to the veterans this year. That is gorgeous. Mm. Okay, did he say where he got that? That's uh, cool. No, but Google okay. poppy projector. Google, okay, I'm pretty sure all right, find it fine, there. fine. Mm -hmm. I'm busy Googling other things because my boyfriend, Oh yeah. my boyfriend, Ryan Reynolds, okay, He's happily married, and, and so am I. But he's my boyfriend, and I think I might actually go in on buying an NHL team. Did you hear about this? Ryan Reynolds interested in purchasing the Ottawa Senators. He told Jimmy Fallon it must be true. Yes. I need a, we, yeah. yeah, I need to partner with, you know, really Me. deep pockets. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, much bigger. That's, it's, called a, it's called a consortium or consortium or a consortium mm -hmm. when you form a group together to, to buy an entity. And I just, it's such, a, it's such a fancy way of saying I need a sugar mommy or a sugar daddy. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. You're not his girlfriend, you're a sugar mama. I will be Ryan Reynolds' I'll sugar mama. I'll be sugar mama too. But wouldn't it be great if there were like, thousands and thousands of us who could invest just a little bit and I love my Canucks don't get me wrong I'm a forever Canucks fan but the Senators have been so dragged for so long Sens fans have suffered I would say almost as much as if not more Canucks than fans. Canucks fans <laughs> it's it's hard I feel yeah. but I think Ryan Reynolds what he's done for the game of football and he went to the game yeah he's he went so to the great. game the other night everybody he was thrilled to see him yeah, come on the show, on the show, Ryan. There's so many things to talk about. I'll take you to Nat's Pizza. Oh, yeah. He loves Nat's. Sugar Mama. Sugar yeah, there mama. goes. I'll buy okay. it. Let's talk about uh, some local news here. So the Vancouver oh, yeah, police one. have been actively trying to catch or at least identify the people who took part in a riot at the p &E in September. And they're doing a pretty good job. Mm. So let's show you where they're at now. They had some really good photos of the people. Look oh, yeah. So there's only three left. But look at those three people. Surely someone knows who those people are. Yeah. Indeed. I hope next week we bring you the update of everybody being found. And I'm going to go back to our conversation, Linda, about the need for more surveillance yeah. of people at events like this in public places and spaces. Handsome Brad showed us the uh, Victoria robot last week. We showed you how CCTV. they put up the signs. Because I don't think it's an uh, infringement on our privacy when the signs are up a couple days before. When you're at this event, just so you know, we're taking your picture. And Don't act like an happen. idiot Don't and flip like an over idiot. a kiosk. We are also going to talk on the show about uh, the VPD releasing a very controversial report People claiming that $5 billion is going into 
you know, social programs and Say spending in Vancouver. Five, five billion. billion dollars. Yeah, and a lot of people are saying, ma, oh, the police are being too political. But we do have our premier elect who is saying, you know what? It is time. This is bigger than Vancouver, the downtown east side problems. Yeah. And so, the social safety net in general mm. in the lower mainland, in in many of the more populated parts of British Columbia, certainly an issue that has been at play. We'll get into it in yeah. detail coming up in the show. We got so much going on. We got to talk a little bit more about Elon Musk too. Oh, Twitter is a bit of a dumpster fire it's right now. Speaking, so, speaking of dumpster yeah. fires. <laughs> Let me show you a tweet. So a very famous uh, comedian, I guess, actress, uh, that's not it. So Kathy Griffin. There it is. is, there it is changed the handle to say Elon Musk, and she was trolling him to show With how her easy it is, yeah. right, yeah. for someone to impersonate someone if everybody can have the check mark. And then she was retweeting Democrats, right? This was prior to... Super fun. Yeah, she was doing so the thing. So then let's see how Elon's reaction was going forward. Anybody's going to be personally sus or permanently suspended unless you say it's a parody. And sure enough, boom, uh, she was suspended. I just checked. She's still not back on. That's Today, so Jody. From the Pope to Biden to Bush to you name it, there are all kinds of verified fake accounts that are not saying parody. Twitter is a mess right now. There is a lot going on on Twitter. There's a lot of messy stuff going yeah. on. And and under the current of all of that, we're still dealing with COVID-19. Oh, and pfft. one of our guests today on the program, I'm really looking forward to Dr. Karen Tran. She's a UBC long COVID researcher. Mm -hmm. And it's a really fascinating um, crowdsourcing. Is that the best yeah, way to Yeah, what put they're it? doing is they want people who are suffering from long COVID to go on to this portal. And we'll tell you more about it. This is what it looks like. And share your symptoms because there are over a hundred different symptoms associated with long COVID and researchers need to collect information. You can be part of a research project into long COVID that can be of a benefit to all of us. So that's coming up. And we're also going to talk about, do you know what this is? You know what this is, Linda. It's this an is, air tag. This is handsome Brad's air tag. Apple there it is. Air can tag. you see it? Can yeah. you see it? Oh, there Can't now his name Brad. is in focus. Hansen Brad, it's an air tag to track your luggage if you're traveling. Duncan D, the former COO of Air Canada, is going to be with us with some tips and tricks and so much interesting holiday travel necessities. I didn't know a couple of things that Well, and the thing the is, table. because WestJet just had a huge computer outage that stranded thousands of passengers who were super mad because it was taking them, well, days to get to where they were trying to go. So what happens if you're in that situation? You have rights as a passenger. You just don't know what they are. And we are going to drill down into that. And so that's I'm coming up like right it. around the corner, like yeah. in just a matter of just a couple of yeah. minutes here, we're going to get into it. And there are a couple of tips that None of us know. Right. None of us know. So we'll get to that. And we've also got what the hell is wrong with people today. We have a couple <laughs> that is just like, <sighs> Linda, mm, every indeed. week. And some good news as well. But every but. week it surprises me just how much what the hell we have. You know, there's cutting room floor and knee deep mm. here. That's what I'm telling you. But. Still ahead yes. on Still in Bats. Uh, we're going to talk about this controversial report on social spending in Vancouver. It has VPD in the hot seat. I think they're raising some interesting questions, but maybe not in the way, the kind of blowback they're getting. Is... There's a lot of blowback. <laughs> there certainly the is. We'll talk it through from yeah. our perspective, Steel in Bats style. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.